Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost Maths video on describing reflections. Now reflection is just one of the four types of transformation. We've got reflections, translations, rotations, enlargements. And a reflection is when just something is flipped in a particular line. So for example, to get from A to B, can you see there's like a mirror line here and A is being reflected, it's being flipped to get to B here. Now there's just one thing we need to describe in our reflection and that's what this line is. Now it's not sufficient to just draw the line in, in say a GCC exam, we actually have to give the equation of this line. And if you've done straight line equations before, you'll be familiar with this. But just to give you a brief idea of how it works, if we look at this diagram here, let's just say that we want to describe this particular line here. Now, can you think of a rule which would satisfy any point that you choose on this particular line? If we look at this coordinate, it's uh, 4, 1. If we look at this coordinate, it's 4, 4. If we look at this coordinate, it's 4, 6. Now, what was the same about every single point that I picked on this line? Well, the x value was always 4, wasn't it? So, we actually say that the equation of this line is x equals 4 because it's effectively like a membership rule for being a point on this line. What about this line here? If we pick this point, it's 0, 2. If we pick this point, it's 3, 2. If we pick this point, it's 6, 2. What was the same about every point I picked on, its, on this line? Was that the y value was 2, wasn't it? The y value was always 2 for every point I picked on it. So indeed, the equation for this line is y equals 2, because that's a rule for being a point on that line. And then the last slightly harder one is this line here, this diagonal one. If we pick different points, so that's 0, 0, that's 1, 1, that's 3, 3, that's 5, 5. Well, it seems that the x value is always the same as the y value for any point on that line. And so we could actually write x equals y as the equation of that line. Now, it's customary to make y the subject, so to put y first, so we generally write y equals x. Now, that's not wrong. It'd be perfectly legitimate to use that in exam, but we tend to put the y first. Now let's use that to answer these questions on this sheet here. So we've got these different transformations and we want to describe them. And you would generally get two marks an exam for each description of a reflection. So A, we want to describe the transformation from A to B, so from here to here. So we get one mark for just saying it's a reflection, the type of transformation is. And we write reflection in the line, and then we have to give the equation of that line. So if we look at it here, we can see it's this line here. Now, any point we pick, we can see that the y value is always 2. Look, this is 4, 2, that's 1, 2, etc. And the easy way to tell is because when you draw that line, this reflection line, can you see it cuts the y-axis at 2? So the equation would therefore be y equals 2. So that's the answer, you get your two marks. What about B? So we want to know the transformation from A to C, so A to C here. So again, we get a mark for saying it's a reflection in the line, and then you get a mark for giving the equation of that line. So uh, the line this time, to get from A to C, the reflection line is here. And can we see that it cuts the x-axis at minus 1, and therefore the equation is x equals minus 1. What about C? It's from A to D, so A to D here. So again, a reflection in the line. Now, the line of reflection now is this here. So there's two ways of describing this line. We could either say, well, any point we pick, like this is 8, 0, 6, 0, 4, 0, the y value is always 0, isn't it? So we could write y equals 0. Or notice that this line here is the x-axis. So it's completely fine to write it's a reflection in the x-axis, and we're allowed to write that, that's totally fine. Or you could use in the line y equals zero, that's also acceptable. And the next one, we've got a to e, so a to e here, so it's a reflection in the line. Now this is a diagonal of the line this time, can you see that the line of reflection is like that to get from a to e? And we saw earlier that the equation of that line was y equals x. You can get away with x equals y, but let's write the line y equals x. And the last hardest one, we want the reflection from a to f, so a to f here. So it's a reflection in the line. Now, the line this time 
is like this. So this is a bit more unusual to get from A to F like this. Now let's look at the different points on this particular line. So this point here is minus 2, 2. This point is 0, 0. This point is 1, minus 1. This point is 3, minus 3. What do you notice? Well, the y value is the negative of whatever the x value is. So if the x value was minus 2, the y value would be negative negative 2, which is positive 2. If the x value was 3, the y value would be negative 3. So we just negate the x value to get the y value. And we could write that as either x is minus y or y is minus x. So if, it, so if the x value was, say, 3, y would be equal to minus 3. So it would be 3 minus 3 as a point on that line. So just remember that this line is y equals x, and this line is y equals minus x.